Hey guys, so yesterday we got a bunch of manure hauling done and fields are drying now. Look into no-till drill, try to cow into those as soon as they're ready. Yesterday we dropped this tractor off the neighbor. He does plastic welding and repairs and they got this hood fixed up. This was all cracked and the latch wasn't working right. So I thought they did a really good job with this. Apparently these hoods are not cheap if you go to replace them, so. We're gonna go over this drill a little bit, grease it, and then get it hooked up. Got my grease gun over here. So this drill is 15 feet wide. It's got 24 rows. So they're seven and a half inches apart. I'm just going through and checking each row, making sure the main bearing is good putting some grease in there. Just gotta do the front row. The ones in the back are pretty easy to reach. Then you have the ones in the front you have to crawl through the middle to get to. Drill should be ready to go. So later we'll get the tractor hooked up. Probably not gonna start drilling today though. So it's the next day now. Just got the 7220 hooked onto the drill, going up the tractor, and then we wanna get seed loaded into this thing. We got a busy morning this morning. Hoof trimmer's here. They're sorting out cows for that. And then the straw chopper just showed up, so my dad's loading straw bales on there right now. The manure is dry, so we're ready to start no-tilling this triticale in as soon as possible too. pull down to the shop there's dolly wheels in the front there a little bit low on air so I'm ready to get that drill loaded then gonna chase these cows that are already trimmed out and back into their group just have this walkway it's normally for people to walk on but you can use it for cows so when we trim we use it to return the cows back Just has three more to do. Yeah. Got all the hoof trimming stuff cleaned up. Now we're gonna load this drill. So our skid loader doesn't lift high enough. We're gonna have to use the neighbor's forklift. This is where having a telehandler would be really nice. Reach right up over.
just a little. Ah, that's good. We got 2,000 pounds of seed loaded. That should be enough for 16 acres, shooting for 125 pounds per acre. I'm just gonna start with this field right behind the bunker silos. I'm gonna check the depth a little bit. Really just need to get them half an inch underground. Just getting it down under the surface a little bit. Should do the job. This drill with the seven and a half inch spacing. The exact same width as our six row corn plants are at 30 inch spacing. So I kind of just use the corn rows to tell me where to drive. So I know my drill is going to stick out two full rows past my front tire there. Yeah, it's going good. Drill seems to be working fine. All right, so I moved on to the second field now. The drill was planted a little bit heavy. I adjusted it back. Probably got more like 150 pounds to the acre for the first bit there. Still got a couple uh, wet spots in these fields where the manure was doubled up. So what we're planting here is Triticale. It is a uh, grass type crop and it's something we're gonna harvest in the spring. It'll grow a little bit this fall and then go dormant over the winter and then we'll, it'll start growing again in the spring. We'll harvest it beginning of May. So this is accomplishing a couple of things. It's gonna give us feed, but it's also a cover crop. So it's gonna protect the soil against erosion over the winter and also just keep the weeds down. Triticale is actually a cross between wheat and rye. Yeah, here's a pretty wet spot. I guess I'll plant through it. It's uh, can cause trouble with the drill. We hit too much of this. Oh, and there's a groundhog hole. Finished up with that field there. Got to move across the road now. It's about time to feed cows though, so I might have to shut it down until tomorrow. So it's the next morning again. Got the drill loaded up, going. So while I'm doing this, my dad's over in uh, a couple of the fields that had some ruts in them down that way with a deep tillage tool on the 7130. All right, let's see how this tillage is going. This is the field where we had all that mud the day we were harvesting. Got some decent ruts to certain spots. Just gonna try and break the compaction up a little bit. This is a ripper. It's got three teeth that go down pretty deep. We're just running it from our neighbor. Lifts up the soil a little bit and then drops it so it kind of breaks up compaction. He did some parts of those fields over there, but this is field that was the worst. It's probably gonna do the whole, like a quarter of it on this side.
seems to be working really well. I don't know if we're gonna have to take something over this to smooth it out or not before we can seed into it. We just loaded the third toe to seed. But uh, this is the ripper. Didn't get to see it out of the ground earlier. So it's running, uh, yeah, over a foot down. It's really not that big at the bottom here, but it lifts the soil the whole way across it somehow. Dad's gonna go do one other field that had some compaction and then we'll be done with that thing. Now I'm working in the field that my dad had run that deep tillage through. We decided not to go over it with anything else like a cultivator to smooth it out. The drill kind of smooths it out some and it's really not too rough. It's a few wet spots, but it's not too bad. It is Saturday morning now, so we've been working at the seating throughout this week. Planning to finish up here today, got about 10 acres more to do. We're gonna put the last ton of seed in right now. So we had to switch tractors yesterday because this tire started leaking and it's not just a single leak, there's cracks the whole way around. So it was a little bit frustrating, but we're gonna have to replace this tire, I guess. Yeah, we had to switch over to the 7130. It's nice having a second tractor that can do the job. So we've used five totes of Triticale. Now we're switching over to Rye to finish out. Uh, we got about 80 acres in the ground so far. Rye seed is a little bit cheaper than Triticale, but we've had good success with the Triticale yield-wise, and it gives us that wider harvest window in the spring. That's why we still plant Triticale. Rye makes good forage too, though. We're actually thinking we might let the rye go a little bit past maturity and then harvest it to feed the heifers in the spring. We got the toad in. So these are the triticale seeds compared to the rye seeds. I'm going to have to adjust the the uh, meter a little bit to uh, get the right weight out. It's going to be a little different seed size and everything. So we're just bumping the rate up a little bit. Okay, just finished up. So all of our forage cover crops are seeded. Uh, we're gonna plant some more cover crops at some point, but not in a rush to do that. So I appreciate any advice you guys might have on what kind of tire we should get for that tractor. Yeah, all right, thanks guys.